Uh, the tapper has a bubble too. Right, because the tavern is where the blood wings are. That makes sense, actually. Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. I'll never go back, huh? Okay. Where are you? Fountains are purely decorative and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. Interesting. Hmm. I knew it. I said all along that taverns are dens of evil. Now there is no one left who desires that demon drink. It clouds man's judgment and causes good people to fall into corruption and sin. It should never have existed. Taverns shall now only live on in history books. I've always opposed the sale of nectar and intoxicating drinks. From now on, those places once known as taverns should be used to distribute food equally to all. Flavor is irrelevant. It is enough for food to fill the stomach and contain the nutrients necessary for survival. Damn. Food is not something that should be enjoyed. But eating is part of being alive. If you can't enjoy your food, how can you enjoy your life? I don't want to live like that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I second that motion. <laughs> Take my flavor away from my food? <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. was a child what the... mommy <laughs> I'm scared mommy <laughs> don't show any feelings dear if they spot you they'll uh what are those Prince Percival Tabitha you're still you Didn't you have a prophecy? Okay. Demons? In the capital? No. They're molecules. Oh, Those are molecules? Okay. Interesting. They were nothing. Hey, that, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl. Looks like those Malachim took them away somewhere. <sighs> the prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the prince. And see just what's going on at the villa. 
We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. This is a trap. Back into the catacombs then. <laughs> this, you got it. This cannot go well. This is gonna go so bad. Like, what happened to going to like awakening the whole four periods type thing? But we're really just gonna walk right into their dens right now. So those weren't demons, they were Malachim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malachim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince, or a little girl. Hmm. You know what also has not happened for quite some time? Now that I think about it. Oh! We never dispatched it. Holy cow. Right, well. Scout ship! What do you think? I wonder if Tabitha's alright. I don't think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. But even if she resists suppression, if the Abbey finds her, she'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. Maybe she was just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and say you're wasting your time. Then we should be on our way to the villa. Sure. Cheerful velvet is a little weird to me. I'm so used to her being so, like, angry and aggressive all the time. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Take the shortcut. Monsters anywhere. This has to be a trap. <laughs> this has to be a trap. There's like nothing going on around us.
Are they gathering them in Griffin's old cage? Is... Oh damn, are they getting devoured? A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! <laughs> With an entrance like this, it's almost like... Like we're a bunch of heroes. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cause me to flex! Lethal pain! Looks like you're gonna be sick I can still feel scared out of my wits, at least. <sighs> it's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then mommy we'll... was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. Oh, wow. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy was acting against reason. Oh, damn. <sighs> So this is the true face of their suppression. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepard Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Right. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete. But it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up. And then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> hmm. 
Prince. Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. I'm happy. Truly. Until now, I thought I was just a tool to serve my country. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. <laughs> you said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah, that's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. <laughs> You've changed, haven't you? You really have. You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheathe it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. <laughs> Eisen. About Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey, they stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to be selfish too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. Well, I'm pumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. We gotta prepare. We stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Knight. Will they complete the ceremony first? Or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerous. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. <laughs> they went from revenge-seeking anti-heroes to the heroes. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. What a twist. <laughs> Although we kind of all saw that coming. Right? Right? <laughs> Not the other one who saw that coming, I hope. Eleanor, did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help Artorius? They couldn't have. The exorcist I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominat's suppression is also affecting the exorcists. You mean Inominat might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's true. I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? <laughs> right. To be able to express what's in my heart it's a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad, but I can't disagree there. 
This is so weird that they're getting along so well. <laughs> it's just weird. It's it, it's understandable, considering the situation and the context, but like, it freaking is weird. <laughs> Even when not yet fully awakened, Inominat can extend his reach to the entire world. The other towns are probably in the same sorry state as the ones we've seen. Or perhaps even worse. Magilu, is there some art that can awaken Malakin? What do you mean? Well, if I could just use the flames of purification properly... Even if you could alter reality with that power, you'd end up destroying yourself in the process. Do you want to awaken that badly? I need more power. For Velvet's sake? For her too, but I hate what the Abbey is doing. It's just wrong. This world of theirs is without any joy. I just want to do everything I can to stop them. This is what I want, with my own free will. And I... I know of no such art. And even if I did, it wouldn't help you. Huh? You've already found strength in your heart. There's no magic that can make that stronger. What you need is to be ready and determined, and to be brave. I guess you're right. Thanks, Maki Lil. Mm. No thanks necessary. A hundred gold will cover it. Uh, you want me to pay you? Hey, good advice isn't free. What do I look like <laughs> a sidewalk's a private witch? Okay, that's more like Maki She always has to be so difficult. <laughs> That's more like Magi. I was to say, like, holy cow, like, everyone's getting out of their character. <laughs> hmm. Oh, God. We're finished here. Let's go. Okay, so now we go to this volcano place and awaken the four periods. Interesting. Kind of dying to see what they look like. <laughs> the whole time that like they've been mentioning these gods or whatever, I've been dying to find out if they're like cool looking like monsters or whatever. Oh. Where's this? Oh, we gotta go there for that. Yeah, nope. We gotta do that. We gotta do the side quest. I, I can't not do the side quest. <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening? 
Oh. Oh, okay. The Abbey is telling everyone to stay away from the Palamedes ruins because a vicious demon has settled in them. It's a real nasty piece of work. Likes to call its buddies over just to devour them. And it's only getting more aggressive over time. Not even the exorcists have been able to keep it under control. If you know what's good for you, you'll all stay away from there too. A demon that devours other demons and gets more brutal. That sounds like venomization. If it's bringing in other demons just to eat them, then yeah. I bet it's acting on instinct. Trying to live and be strong, even if that means eating its fellow demons. Why, that's positively alluring. And how is that exactly? You know how when it's late at night and you just know you shouldn't have that snack, but there it is and it's so tempting? Hmm. If it's been at this for a while, I bet it'll make for a pretty tough opponent. Yeah. And if Velvet devoured it, she might become a lot stronger. It sounds dangerous to me. Hmm. To feed or not to feed? That is the question. <laughs> okay. Is this a code red? Yep. Looks like they just gave me a new code red. Okay. Follow me, Stemple. Are we ready for this? Oh. Military hike, okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Woo, it's a biggie. 
Okay, yeah, I gotta make an earth combo. Uh... Soaring Dragon... Sonic Thrust... Uh... The Binding Frost... Of curiosity. Okay, it's in the other town. Okay, he just spawns right in front of me, but whatever.
Good luck out. So it's supposed to be a noir doll here. Oh, there it is. That's three noir dolls collected and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? <laughs> you mean the turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. Right. She probably well, that's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. Mm. At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. <sighs> Are we done here? Let's go. That was kinda cold. <laughs> She's not wrong though, but... That was kind of cold. <laughs> uh, okay. Gonna follow me. Doesn't make any sense. What? How do I even get back there? <laughs> Oh, these guys. God damn it. Oh, come on, man. No, I can't die here. Light of 
I forgot how annoying this mob is. Gotta make sure we don't get caught in their little green blast thing. It was a close one, but I am the victor. You're strong, but I'm stronger. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cards in the flesh! Make some pain! Looks like you're correct! Make a pain drop! Take that! The power! Make a pain drop! Finish! Break both! Illuminate us! Crash through! Take that! The power! The one of us! Who wants some next? Crash through! Make a pain drop! Fighting through! Crash through! Finish! Break both! A lot of souls. I want to go Easter.
That should be easy to get to. Wait, what? There's still exorcist there? I'm extra good at beating up the weak ones. One of these just to be on the safe side. That's one. Three people. I'm there. extra good at beating up the weak ones. It's the demon eating demon. The more it eats, the more ferocious it gets, right? I'd rather not find out. Let's take it down fast. No mercy. Wounds that won't heal. Carved into flesh. Lethal pain. Now, rise. Arise. Ascending. Angel. Spirit release. The light of virtue. The dark of Killing Flash! Behold the arts of my ancestors! I'm getting style! Aaron! Here it comes! Resound! Arise! Become the blade of destruction! <laughs> Lost Vaughn, drive! Ready to die? Whatever comes next, this is just the first step! To kill you! Howling Dragon! And then we'll crash through! Let's go! How's that? Eat it! Hold stop! You're wide open! Hold stop! Who wants some of it? Here! Crash it! You won't get away! Burn! Die or be killed! How's that? Burn! That was easy. Come on, really? Have damage taken when holding only one soul. Oh! So when they stun us down to one soul, we'll get only take half of the damage that we normally would. That's kind of awesome. I don't know how, but we managed to beat it. It devoured other demons purely by instinct. Sounds kind of like me, doesn't it? <sighs> so you've eaten a few cows, or demons, whatever. When you're hungry, you eat. The only ones who put any moral weight on it are humans. Personally, I wouldn't sweat it too much. What are you trying to say? It's fine. I don't really care if I'm seen as a bad guy. I don't really know how to put it, but... I sensed a kind of strength inside that demon. Like a determination to continue living. It was powerful and frightening, but I don't think it was bad. Figures. Mm. Okay. That's nice. They tried to make Velvet feel better about herself. Um. Take that! 
We're finished here. Let's go. Okay, nice. Okay, Gatling bracelet. That sounds kind of cool. Um. Uh, hmm. I really think this has potential. Not upgraded, so. All right, so we should have enough souls to open up one of the chests. So I think we're gonna go open up the one on uh, the class four island that we haven't done yet, or just that we haven't opened up on that class four island, uh, which is I think this one. The only ones that are left now are the ones back at Velvet's hometown. see the earring because of the fact that they have uh, so much hair, all the characters, <laughs> that kind of cover up their ears. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? 
Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. Hmm. Interesting. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inominat. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Somebody told her just that. as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Hmm. Oh, good. This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading. Give me a hand, will ya? There's hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Hmm. He's captain now, not first mate. Killer House is at the northern <laughs> edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Enominot? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah. But even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. Oh. The sanctuary has two bubbles. It has a bubble. <clears throat> My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah. You agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. 
Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits? Or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. Hmm. Okay. And we're gonna end it there, guys. Uh, it's pretty late.